a little hail that's happy. That's why it's that big bee <laughs> sentinel bird when you're setting your good toys. That's the one that's talking to your bird, to the, to the ducks coming in. And that's not, at the end, he's giving the, uh, at the end, he's giving like what, that. He's a phenomenal. <laughs> that finishing, bop, 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 and then usually they're coming right in. And a lot of really good time to learn geese movement. It's really hard out there. But in the fields, the field shooting, you can really determine yes. what's going on. But when you go out in the big water, Geese are almost like a whole different world out there. Yeah. Same geese. Same geese that were inside feeding on low water, they came in the fields at night. I mean, they act almost completely differently. Just get to on um, but ducks, the language is kind of simple. It's like, hey, I'm here. You know what I mean? Hi. And so when you're out there and you watch all these videos, that's like a token thing. You hear the guy like, but that hail, that, that high ball, they call it, if you can still use that. If they're a fucking mile away, you know what I mean? The problem is you'll be hailballing from a mile away and there's one right behind you. Like, I get a lot of here. But you can use that. There's nothing going on. Like, I'm that guy with the calls. So there's nothing going on. I figure I'm going to do some calling. It might help. And then if... But a seven's like God's number, I use that all the time. Oh. You a little bit of hail call, you see one coming? A little confidence quag. They start coming. And this year I use that a lot, that chuck. Yeah, what I is that? that chuck I, and a quag. I hear that in, in the, when they're in the groups, when they're all, when they're all there. Like a chuck quag, they're feeding, they're hanging. hanging. That... Email, come hang out. <laughs> now a lot of guys, here I'm easy. you hear that Louisiana style thing that's going on, there's a lot of back pressure guys are using. Right. So that's the... Right. Where are we shooting? Where are we <laughs> <laughs> You're almost throwing a little tick in there. You, you hear that? <laughs> that's a mouthful of rice or corn or whatever they're eating. You hear in the fields they're eating rice and corn, but around where we're eating their meat, some wild rice. But they're usually pulling up little reeds and things off the bottom or invertebrates. <laughs> so closed mouth, they're happy, they're feeding. Other birds hear that, they're like, so that when you shut it down a little bit, especially on low water, you don't want to call like that when it's a high water day because they know they're not really feeding. Yeah. It's when you see bird uh, duck asses up in the air, yeah. they're in a feeding spot. Other other spots around you, you want to be like you're you're happy, you're a happy duck in a spot where there's food. So you shut it down a little bit. <laughs> It's fun to call them and see what they do. So many days, oh, I decide to take off. More geese than ducks usually do that for me. I'll be everything be going good, and then I'll do something wrong. Have people look at me like, "What the fuck? They were gonna come anyway." I'm like, "I don't think they were gonna come." <laughs> 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 you know? But uh, you know, so you eat that with your buddies in there. But that's why when you have in your group, you got one guy who's great at chuckling. So he's just like, <laughs> one guy that's good quick chuckling and quacking. <laughs> You know, that quack, that <laughs> is all that. And that 
that's and you it's practice that quack, you put all kinds of different flexion on it, you're just sitting there learning it. That's that big, that big bird. Versus, and that's a lot. I'm growling inside here to make that noise. But I take that out of it. Do, can you do them backwards, like on the other end through? Or like. <laughs> Like, 